this video, we're talking about how we can elevate our iPhone videos using cinematic mode. Have you ever seen these professional looking photos and videos where you have a subject in focus and everything else out of focus? Well, this is because big cameras can achieve a very shallow depth of field. And with depth of field, we refer to how many elements are in focus and how many elements are out of focus. And because how lenses work, it is not that easy to achieve the same effect using our iPhones. But as it happened with portrait mode and photo, now we can achieve the same effect using cinematic mode in video. This feature became available from iPhone 13 onwards and is one of my favorite features of all time because cinematic mode allows us to keep the subject in focus and everything else out of focus. Therefore, our eyes will be drawn towards the subject and not distracted by the background. Now, let me walk you through the interface of cinematic mode with the help of Haiste. To activate the cinematic mode, everything that we have to do is simply open the camera up and then slide right until we see cinematic. In the top right corner on the screen, we'll be able to change the resolution. If you have a newer model, you'll be able to go up to 4K. In the iPhone 13, you're only gonna be able to have HD. Then you can change the frame rate, 24 or 30 FPS, but we're gonna keep it at 30 for now. Then we have this button with an F inside. This is called a depth control button. Once you click it, you'll be able to activate a slider in the bottom side of the screen, and here you'll be able to control the intensity of the effect. If we slide right, we are gonna increase the intensity of the effect. Therefore, we're gonna see the subject that is more in focus than everything else. But if you slide left, we're gonna decrease the effect that we have in cinematic mode and therefore it will appear that everything is in focus. Now let's go back to f2.8 and then exit this menu. You just need to swipe down. Then we have a button on the top of the screen and when you click it, a hidden menu will be revealed. You can access the same menu by swiping up on the screen. Then again, you have the depth control button on the right side and from here, if you click again DF, you'll be able to go back to that hit the menu. Then you have the exposure compensation, where you'll be able to change the exposure. And then we have also the flash, which is also linked to the button on the top left corner of the screen. One of the coolest features in cinematic mode is that you can decide where you want the focus. So right now I'm focusing on her, but if I wanna move it a little bit on the side and maybe focus on the underground sign, I just need to click on the underground sign and there you go. iPhone will do its magic. Then if I wanna go back on her, I can click on her face and there you go, we got back the focus. Generally, when you open cinematic mode, iPhone will try to focus directly on faces. In this case, because we have our subject in front of us, iPhone will automatically lock the focus on her. There you go. Even if you move, iPhone will still stay with the focus on the subject. Even in cinematic mode, we have the option to change lenses, so we can go from 1x to 3x, but we cannot use the 0.5x. Now, let me show you a few tips and tricks on how you can make the most of cinematic mode. Now we are gonna ask Aiste to lean a little bit forward and then start looking at the underground sign at the beginning. And when I tell you, please look towards me. And three, two, one, look back at me. Really good. Look at in front of you. Very nice. And in three, two, one, again, look back at the sign. Very good and look back at me. That's great. This clip looks already amazing. We start with focusing on the underground sign, then when Aiste looks at us, we change the focus, and then again, she's looking back at the underground sign, and then back to us again. But we can notice that in the second time, the focus actually is a little bit delayed. So I'm focusing on the underground sign when she started looking at us already. And the coolest thing about cinematic mode is that we can actually change after we've shot the video. And to do so, we just need to go into edit mode on the top right corner. And then here you'll be able to change a few settings. If you click on the F2.8 on the top left corner, we'll be able to change the depth of field. 
Once again, we have the same slider that we've seen before. We can slide right to increase the effect, and then we can slide left to decrease the effect. Let's go back to 2.8. Then we're gonna click on the F again, and then here we'll be able to see two different sections. In the first section, we see a preview of the overall clip. We have a white vertical line that we can use to navigate throughout the clip. Then in the bottom part, we have a few yellow circles. Every yellow circle matches with a change in focus in the clip. And eventually we can delete the yellow circles or add more. For example, I wanna showcase to you that towards the end of the clip, I'm focusing on the underground sign, then when she looks back at me, I tap on her a little bit too late. So maybe I wanna delete this focus point and add one a little bit earlier. And to do so, I'm just gonna click on that circle that I want to eliminate and then click on the bin that it appears on the preview. There you go, now the focus point is gone. And then I can move the vertical line a little bit earlier, let's say now, and I can click on her face to add another focus point. And now I told my iPhone to make the switch of focus in that exact moment. So let's have a look at the footage back together. We're gonna click on play, and then she looks at the sign, the focus goes on the sign, and then when she looks back at me, the focus is back on her. Once again, we are able to change the focus points even after we've shot the video. And I think this is an incredible opportunity because we're never gonna miss a shot. Now I wanna show you one more trick. If you keep pressing on the white vertical line, also called playhead in technical terms, you'll be able to activate the precise editor, which means that now you're not gonna have the whole preview of the video here for just a few seconds. Then when you release the playhead, you'll go back to normal and you'll be able to make all the adjustments that you want within the overall clip. Then I wanna show you one more thing. On the top left of the screen, you can see a button that is now yellow. If you click on it, this will become gray, which means that you deactivated the manual tracking, which means that you cannot add or remove focus points anymore. But anytime, whenever you want, you can click again on it, and then here you'll be able to delete or add focus points. This could be useful whenever you've made all the changes you had to do and you don't wanna make mistakes, so you're just gonna deactivate the manual tracking and then you're good to go. You're not gonna be able to add or remove any focus point anymore. Whenever you're done with your edits, you can just click on the top right corner, done, and this will save all the changes that you've made and you'll be able to watch back the video. Now let's go take some cinematic shots together. Whenever you're shooting in cinematic mode in busy places, your iPhone will try to focus on different faces. But we can lock the focus on our subject and now I wanna show you how we can do so. So as you can see right now, the iPhone is trying to identify different faces, but we can see that Aista is still in focus because she has around these yellow corners. In case we wanna lock the focus on her, we'll just have to tap on her face and there you go. Now we started also tracking her. That means that even if I move, the iPhone will keep her in focus without considering other people. And that's really, really nice. I can move closer or I can move further away from her and she's still in focus. Now let's go around Chinatown to take some shots together. Shooting clips in cinematic mode can make your videos look more professional. Remember that you can play around with different focus points during your shooting and also after the shooting in post-production. Play around having also different subjects and moving the focus from one subject to the other throughout the clip. Play around by adding or removing focus points after you've captured the clip. And one last thing to consider is that if your subject is very far away, the effect might not be as strong as if it was very close to you. So consider the distance between you and the subject. It's all about practice and it's really important to have fun as well. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to see you in the next one. This preview of the iPhone Video Academy offers a sneak peek into the incredible world of iPhone videography. Get ready to unlock the secrets, techniques and skills that will transform your videos into works of art. But wait, there's more. In the full course, you embark on an immersive learning journey covering every aspect of iPhone videography. From mastering camera techniques to refining your editing skills, the iPhone Video Academy has it all. Don't miss this chance to become a true iPhone videography expert. You'll find the link in the description right under this video. Click on that link to find out more about iPhone Video Academy and I'll see you inside the full course.